start the new recording. All right, let's go. Everyone, welcome to the episode number two of the Stay Attach podcast. Uh, thank you very much for all the support on the first episode with Brandon Dashy. Video's doing really well on YouTube. It's uploaded like Spotify and all other stuff, and uh, the stream was great during it. But we have another banger episode today. We are joined by the one and only Alec Arcides. Alec, welcome. How you doing today? Doing good. Woke up like two hours ago, hit the gym. Like that? Oh, tr- healthy person. Working out, that's, we can all inspire to be like that, especially us gamers. Like, we can get lazy sometimes, so that's awesome to hear. Good. Okay, we got to start out by, first of all, saying congratulations on joining FaZe. Like, that's a, that's a pretty good team to join. Being on the FaZe Clan family is definitely a great one. How, how did it feel to just join FaZe? Like, was that, how I mean, does it feel? I mean, it's good. I mean, it was great working with Hector, but it's like, Going from obviously working with Hector to Phase is probably like the top two, right? Yeah, it's like, literally the top. It's the top that's, two. That's crazy to me. Like it's not growing up. Like I didn't watch COD, but like I saw those two, those two names. I'd be like, wow. Like if I wanted to be something big, like or in like gaming, I'd be like, I want to be on one of these two orgs and yeah, or with Hector, obviously Optic or something. But yeah, now I think I'm here with Phase and it's crazy. That's yeah. Because I think it's like every player's dream to play under Hector just because of how well he treats his players. I mean, we'll probably talk about it later on in the episode, so we'll get into it later on. But, like, Hector's always going above and beyond for his players, taking care of his org. And then FaZe, like, just biggest big, biggest esports content, all that org. So it's uh, it's crazy. So you're going to have you're gonna have Juice. I'm going to need a follow five or something like that, okay? I need a follow five, too. <laughs> all right, Juice, uh, <laughs> follow for follow. <laughs> All of but, Friday. Let's go. <laughs> Miss those days. But what you been up to this off season? Except for like, of course, the team changes roster mania. Like, what else have you been doing? I mean, that that honestly lasted like a week. So yeah. we're chilling. Um, nothing. Getting back into the gym obviously was like my number nice. one goal. But now I'm literally calling. I'm calling banks. I'm calling <laughs> everyone trying to situate this move. And I'm. It's been stress. I've been trying to work on like. Obviously, like clothing deals. Nice. I work with people oh. to do that. And, um, but now I'm going to, me and Tyler are about to go to Vegas for his birthday and celebrate over there. So, we're, off season been good. Yeah. That way, that's awesome. So, you got some apparel, new apparel coming out soon? Oh, whoa. Okay. Yeah. That, I think that was a first look, but, uh, you know, I'm going to need some. Or I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy a couple of stuff to be represented. How will you be represented? Because, what, you're like a, 18 month 20 month sub to me like i gotta sh- i gotta show some love longer back, than like. you i could tell you that okay well, i'm like at a year like 13 <laughs> months with you so like it's, hey, hey, hey you've been streaming longer than me so it's so it's yeah, chill. We're okay chill. okay we're good we're good and probably, uh, there was probably months where i didn't stream so you couldn't get your sub in you know yeah but like i still stayed loyal because like i i need to be able to watch through those vods and just support you as a person because i really like you so <laughs> um but you're moving to atlanta correctly or correct yes sir. okay yeah, I'm moving to Texas and you just leave me. Like, that's that's honestly crazy. All right, there's going to be, like, what, 30, 30 more people going there? So we're chilling. Yeah, but it's not you. So, like, you know, I'm taking right. I'm taking the L here. But uh, hopefully that moving stuff goes all well. Uh, I get to Moving is never any less stressful, no matter how many times you do it. Boy, this is, the thir- this is like, the third state I moved to. It, it, moving from, like, like, Dallas to Frisco, it wasn't bad because obviously Hector yeah. helped me. But, dude, stay, oh, oh my God, driving, <laughs> everything, the packing, the unpacking. Who wants to, I have to drive, like, 12 hours. I have to pack, dude. drive 12 hours, then unpack, and it's just going to be like, dude. <laughs> it's going to feel way, like, it's going to feel good after, but yeah. just in between, like, getting out of the car, getting the keys, going into an empty apartment, <laughs> just like, like, dude, this sucks. And there's just like, nothing, I, and then bringing stuff in, in one there. by one by one. That, oh, dude. You it's gotta so- bring the couch in first and just chill for like a second. <laughs> yeah, then you go outside, everything's stolen out of the U-Haul, like monitors gone, like it's tough but, scenes. But the best part is, I hit up the internet first because when uh, I moved here, yeah, I was like, dude, I didn't even worry about the internet, and I was sitting here for like what, like five, six days. Yeah. Then I finally just tweeted them or I DM'd AT and T, and they're like, yeah, we'll help you instantly. And when I called them on the phone, they're like, no, we can't help you today at all. Or in like the next couple of days, it's gonna take like two weeks. I I DM them and they're like, "Yeah, we'll help you in like two days." That's it comes in two toxic. Days, I was like, "Come on." Nah, they just they but, just finessed. But it wasn't bad because okay. uh, 
I lived uh, next to the hex quarter, so I could just play oh, there. Oh, yeah, true, true, true. That's always good, bro. Yeah. With, when you don't have internet, it's actually, like, crazy how bad. It shows how much we, like, rely and depend and need internet for, like, our daily lives. But when you don't have internet for a little bit, you're, like, freaking out. You're just like, dude, what do I do with my life? Like, do I read books? People read books, yeah, too? Yeah, I, like, like, I couldn't even go to the gym because nothing was. It was during, like, like the main part. Like, there was nothing open. So I was yeah. sitting there, I was like. Wow, what am I gonna do? <laughs> like, well, I'm losing and sitting in my apartment right now. Yeah. All right. I got a very important question for you, but I'm gonna set the setting first. I'm gonna hey, set the setting it. first. You are at the top of the Eiffel Tower eating in the restaurant. You are the GM of the Paris Legion. You are talking with like the CEO, COO, and a bunch of other like investors in the team, in the company, in the organization. What four players are you telling? them to pick up or are you saying to pick up because they're taking your word you are the Paris gm what four players are you picking up dude <laughs> <laughs> i i hate that you warned me with this too and i still didn't hear an answer dude um, it's a tough one honestly this is biased but i've always I'm been here. like a big fan of jordan like general okay it's just the way the way he uh i i know the way he plays in game he's just like a really good like he's obviously he's the general he's a commander yeah. he like he likes to tell people what to do and likes to, like he likes to make everything just like calm and like he knows what's going on. Yeah. So he'd be like my first pick to like start off the roster. And it's obviously they want if I mean you want to represent Paris, so I get what like Brezzy. Brezzy, yeah, him. wait, dude. We would start like, off like it would be like an E six yeah. kind of vibe, you know? I mean they got fourth at champs, the last event of Black Ops yeah, four, yeah. and then none of them started after that. So that's kind of crazy. Yeah. Last two though. Two more. Um, you got NA talent, some EU talent. What you thinking? Who? I feel like I'm I'm missing a lot of people. So like, <laughs> I don't know. Like it's so hard to keep keep track with everything. Yeah. Cause, like you know teams that aren't aren't announced yet, and like you don't want to like I don't know. It's hard. Just say you can um, use any player that isn't officially announced. So I have Brazil, <laughs> Jordan. Yeah. God or Rex. Okay. Otter X, maybe. Uh, this is literally E6 all over again. Yeah, that's Reunion. What I'm saying. Okay. Otter X and. Um, let's go Kismet E6. Kismet? All right, the whole or, E6 or, roster. Or we could throw Frosty in there. Frosty. I, uh, Brad's, a, Brad's a really good player. I don't, yeah. I don't know if he's still playing Cod or not, but. Yeah. He kind of got. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, yeah, we, we'll, we'll not talk too much about his situation. Like, we'll let him do his thing. Uh, maybe have him on at some point. But no, that's a solid roster. The E6 people, I mean, they his got... was hilarious. They, dude, that was actually another very good tweet after. He's like, thank you guys, but I don't fuck with you, <laughs> like, at all. So that was, yeah, that was yeah, really I thought that E6 team, I mean, like, they got top They got top four at champs. The next thing you know... What is one of them starting? God or X is, was the only one, yeah, right? God or X is the only one starting, and they all did good. Oh, no. Like, or Kismet? Kismet? Oh, Kismet started, started too. too yeah. 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 I don't okay. think he's starting now, though. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. Still still some teams and players to be announced, so we don't want to speak too much on it. This is all just speculation, everyone. All just speculation. We don't know anything. Um, but now getting into some more personal questions about yourself. How close were you and your brother, Preston Prasini, growing up? I mean, we're twins. I think we're, we're yeah. really close. Yeah. Obviously, like, if if we weren't playing football or, like, we weren't, like, going to football practice, we were probably in, like, playing video games together. Yeah. But, okay. like, I, there was, like, like I don't I want to say, like, during high school, he moved away. And that's, like, that's when he got into gaming. He got into gaming, like, a year or two before me. Oh, okay. And I stayed, I stayed with my dad when he moved with my mom. And I just kept playing football, and it's like, yeah. obviously, like, I'm a very like I'm a big competitor, but like, doing something with Preston just made it even more competitive because like, obviously, I want to be better than him at, just yeah, in something of like course. in general, like yeah. we're we're very competitive people, and like, I'm not saying like, I don't think he ruined football or like we it got ruined because <laughs> of that, but like, it I did have a concussion and kind of like I mm. kind of just spiraled out of that out of like. A depression hit. I didn't uh, realize like I'm not talking to Preston at all. Like, I don't have me and like me and Preston couldn't afford phones, or like our parents couldn't afford phones for us, so we couldn't talk. And the only way we could like talk to each other is through Xbox. Like, we would get oh, okay. on. And, like, he would be like screaming all the time. Like, just I don't know with who. I don't 
fucking know. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> just some scrubs. And I'd be like, I'd be like, yo, Preston, let's play. He'd be like, no, I'm busy. Like, I'm trying to scram. And like, I'm like, okay, I'll just sit here <laughs> until, right. you're, until you're ready. And like, it'd just be like 30 minutes. Be, and my dad would kick me off because like, I got to go to bed for school or he's got to go to bed. And it's literally like, then the concussion happened. And I just like, I was like, screw it. Like, I got to, I, I got to get near Preston. And that's like, that's when it got me into competitive. Okay. Like, that's how like it worked out. I'm not going to lie. That story actually got me like really sad. So we're probably going to have to end the episode here. No, I'm just playing. (laughs) But uh, no, that's really cool that you guys were able to like connect through Xbox because of course you couldn't really connect any other way. But when did you and him start scrimming or competing and like trying to go pro together? Like how did that go from you guys just playing together and like you waiting for him to like come talk to you because he was hanging out with his cool friends and then... uh, scrimming with you and you guys trying to go pro like how did that transition happen i i'd say like during ghost like so it, the question like the the thing we're talking about crescent city is crescent city yeah we're, how we're talking that. about it that's like when they all started like i think i think i can't remember if we moved like because we're like we're natives and they're like if we moved down yeah. there they would like help us with rent stuff because we weren't like okay. rich really like yeah, we yeah. weren't we didn't have enough money to do that so they helped us down there and like we're, we're, we don't know anyone. Like, I don't like, at, it's at that point where, like, do I really want to get to know these people if I'm going to know them for like a year or <laughs> yeah, two? Yeah, and move again. Yeah. And move. So, we, like, we took like everything and put it into COD. I think it was like Ghost at the time. And we just sit there and grind, call it. Like, that was, I don't, I, I don't like Dom, but like, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Or Blitz. I think, or Blitz. Warhawk SMD Octane fine. Blitz. Dude, Ghost. That's like, we still, we couldn't play SMD because we had no money. Like, yeah. we couldn't, like, that's when wagers started happening. Like, UMG, I think, just came out. Yeah, that's when, like, like, it was We couldn't off. do anything because, like, we'd beg our parents, like, obviously, like, it's hard to get a job, like, right away when you move somewhere. And, yeah. Like, they had no money, but they would give us, like, a $5, like, every three months. It's just, like, we'd try to work with it. And, like, obviously, we weren't good at the time. So, it's like, mom. We lost your five dollars. <laughs> we're gonna need a lot good. more of those. Yeah, and like we're sitting there like begging our mom, and she's like, "Dude, just take take the five dollars. You're annoying." Like she didn't say you're annoying. Yeah, but you could, but tell, you could like, tell. Like she's yeah, like, "Dude, tell like, like, come on, what's wrong with them. these kids?" Or you better start winning. Like you better start bringing yeah. me five dollars soon. Yeah, so but uh, then like yeah, that it's... happened, and like someone's like they would hit like obviously Anna like we're we're in California, so we would, like we got a team scrimmed every day. We're like decently good, and like Anaheim happened, mm-hmm. and still we don't have a lot of money. Like we're we're we we're sitting in California in this like had nice house, get it's getting paid for us, and we tried going down to California to Anaheim to play at this uh at this event for the which, first time. Which which Anaheim event. was that? It was the Ghost Anaheim. Oh, I the Ghost one. Remember. Okay. Yeah. And uh, our car breaks down. No and way. I chalked it instantly. Deleted Twitter. <laughs> Deleted everything, Dude. didn't hop on my Xbox for days, like year, like months. I just played Madden for like for a little bit, and we moved back to Washington. That's when I was like, yeah, like I just gotta get a job. I got yeah. a job. Me and Preston both got jobs at Dairy Queen, and just like he kept playing, I stopped. Like I was just like, I'm done. Like I got over it, and yeah. we just we got because the X, after that event, I'm pretty sure the Xbox One and PS4 mm-hmm. or it switched to Xbox One. Yeah, and I was like, we can't like none of we both can't afford that. Like, and we just like. At that time, we both put our checks in and we're like, yo, we'll help you. I'll help you get this Xbox One and get a monitor right away. And that's what we did. And he played. And while I sat there and like, I was just chilling. Like, yeah. I, I didn't like I didn't care to play at that time. So that's like how we got like, That's Damn. literally the story of getting into Call of Duty. Damn, that's crazy. Like, it just shows you how much like you guys were there for each other every single step of the way that's insane from sports to school to initially starting call of duty to trying to compete to going to an event your car breaks dude what your car broke down yes like it, that it went, that was the worst seven months of my life swear to god i can only imagine it, that feeling like you guys were moving so moving hard away from everything it's just being like it's for like if you're like i don't know it's hard to move like i don't i don't know how people do it it's just like it's like yeah. in school, sorry. It's hard to move yeah, in school. Yeah, because you have like to make new have, friends. Have, and you like, have all these friends, yeah. and they're like, they just disappear. It's like, you're not going to see them again, maybe. Like, And that's ever, what happened. Ever. Yeah, literally ever. So I haven't seen people in my school ever. Oh, same. I, I think everyone, once you like get out of high school, you realize like you're going to see some people, but there's a lot of people that you're never, ever going to see 
or again like that's just that's just how it is yeah, there's so. like those messages on facebook like i think i think my mom posted something about like me joining huntsman someone like someone from school said let's go huntsman i was like dude that's weird yeah like i was like i've never heard, talked to you in, like, <laughs> for years now and yeah just, like I like you're into Call of Duty. That's kind of weird. Like you never talked to me. Yeah, I've always thought it was like crazy when like someone that I've known from like real life and then learns about gaming and it like interacts like the real life person in gaming meets because yeah, it's so weird. it's like the craziest thing because when I was in high school, I used to be like super low key. I didn't tell anyone same, same, except for my friends it. who knew like who played games with me, but they quit. Yeah. So like, I kept playing, but I was literally living in Hannah, Montana, double life. I didn't tell anyone I was trying to go pro, so it was crazy. And then you said you were like the same, like you didn't, you just yeah, kept it low key. Dude, just kept it low key. I was like, I working at Derrick, and I didn't even tell him what I did afterwards. Yeah, I was sitting there with like, I think it was like the two fifties. I'd try to play him, like, <laughs> I think I'd like, yeah, be like thirty minutes late. I'm like, just buy me time. I'm coming. Like, I'd have to walk home sometimes after work, because like obviously like my parents are working too. I was like, I didn't get my license till like I was eighteen. It's like, yeah, I just. And I realized it's very important to get that. And I was like, I got to get it. But, like, I'd have to walk home. And I'd be like, yo, just buy me time. I'm coming, boys. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, yep. I was just like, sometimes we would get forfeited. And sometimes we'd win the 200s. Because I don't think, like, if pros played it, they would play with, like, pickup teams. Yeah. Like, so it's like, that was during BO3. But, like, it, dude, all of that was just crazy to me. Like, yeah. thinking about it, I'm just, like, so happy. Like It's crazy I mean, that you went now. through all that. And then you ended up here. You're, you're pretty successful, um, I'd say. You know, world championship, couple couple hundred thousand dollars earned. I'm sure you make a couple dollars a month through salary as well. So, uh, so it's, you're doing you're doing pretty well for yourself. <laughs> nah, I'm just this guy literally has the Brink trucks. They pull up to his apartment every single month and drop off what probably like old bars. 30, 40 k a month just Straight at his doorstep. Old bars. It's Straight yeah, old bars. That's it's it. crazy. So no, that just goes to show like from starting where you were to where you are now, like anything can happen. And you face so many obstacles. You and your brother face so many obstacles to yeah, like man. make it and be that is as successful as you both are now. Like that's just, I can't even imagine the feeling you guys have. Like when you guys won that world championship together, I can only imagine like all those emotions and everything you went to just like. It's crazy. It's, Cause like the two, I think our mom's gone to every event. Yeah. And the yeah, two yeah. Events she old. didn't go to were playoffs and Atlanta. The two events we won before that. Really? So, like, winning that was huge. Yeah. Damn. That is crazy. And then I remember um, Infinite Warfare in Vegas. Because Infinite Warfare is the year you guys, like, went pro and made it big and, like, broke out into the scene. Yeah. I remember playing you guys. What were you guys, like? It was uh, you? TGC. It was me, TGC. Drama, Pierce, and Preston, obviously. Like, yeah. I we, the only team we beat was you guys. Let's go. <laughs> dude, I remember... No that i was like dude because like at the time like you guys were still on the come up and like you guys were like the new kids on the block i'm like yeah. all right who, we're playing tgc like don't know much about them and then we lost i was like what the fuck <laughs> what just happened who are these guys and then and to we threw it at a, to the what yeah. team was it man i know was envy was in our group too i remember playing envy, envy. yeah they we threw smoked the them. shit out of us <laughs> really they <laughs> threw you guys yeah. we smoked yeah. them bad yeah. put them down like, for we you guys beat them online then just out and they just smoked our shit when we got on land Okay. But, um, dude, who the... Elevate? Honestly, yeah, I feel like Elevate, it was, like, yeah, it was Elevate. European dude. Elevate team. Bro, we, I remember. I lost so much full because, like, that was, like... Vegas might be, to this day, still the worst event I've ever had in my life. Oh, God. No, ma no matter I just, what. I did not like, mean to bring it up. I'm sorry. No, you're good. It's, <laughs> and it's what changed the way I, like, the way I acted, though. It's like... Yeah. I was like, bro, I can't get away with, like, grinding, like, terribly, like... Obviously, like, we played, you had to play those GBs, right? Yeah. And I just, like, wouldn't grind as hard. I'd go, like, I'd go, like, lie. Like, I wouldn't take anything serious. And after that, I grinded super hard. Like, went, like, dummy hard and just tried getting better every day, no matter what it what it was. Because he's yeah. like, you're going to get put in situations that, like, you don't know how to get out of sometimes. And, like, the only way to do that is, the only way to, like, get out of them is to grind and, like, yep. Put yourself through the situation no matter what. Get those repetitions in. And then even mm -hmm. in a situation that's like could be very unlikely, at least giving yourself the highest chance of getting out of it 
is like super important, especially in Call of Duty. Like if you can, if you're in a situation where it's a three v one, you take two people out. It's just like and that or like a three v two somewhere on the map. Your teammates all the way over here. It's three v one. You take two of them out. That's a one v one for your teammate. Like you made a huge play, bought him time, and got him so much info. So just like going down ten zero and up, like oh, you never know. Or only needing six points to uh, get to top six at COD Champs <laughs> that you later on went to win. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need five gifted for the regain. You, 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 blame, you blame Cap for that. You blame Cap for it. That was karma. The, I knew, I was like, I, I, it took me weeks to regain. After that, I was like, this motherfucker's gonna get what's coming to him. Dude. <laughs> Teamed with him, dropped him. Next thing you know, the comeback. Oh my god. Straight karma. <sighs> Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm I'm regaining. I'm regaining. You take a deep breath after that, just we've remembering been, that that there, memory. No, nah, yeah, it happens. I mean, everyone's had times in their career when they've completely not choked like that, super though. bad. Not like not like mine and yours. Yeah, there's only been like a few. <laughs> I can like remember that I've been that bad, but uh, like it's still crazy. Or, or um, watching one of my best players was a one v one. To a to an RK7 to a pistol. <laughs> I was Bro, like, yo, I, we're winning this no, after so, this. So Preston was to the left of me. Tyler was to the right. Preston grabs his face like this. I'm getting in front of him like, Tyler, nice try, brother. Like, trying to block him so he doesn't see Preston. <laughs> I, I was trying to be the best teammate ever. I was like, hey, Tyler, just, just, it's all good. It happens. Yeah. And we, like, I, I, dude, it was, it was an intense series. Like, that was one of the craziest series I ever played. Dude, that series was insane. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, I'm sure we'll have more battles, some crazy battles throughout the rest of uh, our careers against each other. But, I mean, what would you give as advice to people trying to become a main AR or just trying to go pro and then also being a main AR because I feel like oh, you're bro. without a doubt one of the best main ARs in the game and uh, now you are I mean your whole thing with being off the huntsman so you can be your natural role and be that main yeah. AR player like what separates you from the rest of like the main ARs to make you so successful hey, what you do say this is like this is a like a point bro like this is a point like I wanted to take like you got to be vocal. As a main mm -hmm. AR, you got to tell your subs what you want them to do for you to be better. Like, Because you're not going to have, like, there what? There was four subs on the map last year? Yeah. If your main AR isn't talking to you, those subs are going to keep killing that guy, like, your main, no matter what. Yeah. If he doesn't say a word, someone's going to be in his face. You you like, you like got to tell them what you want them to do so you could have the best, like, you could be prepared for the most. Like, if you want them to go left... And like get your cut right there and you just want to keep staring straight you're chilling you know what to do you, you know what's going on someone dies you tell them what to do off swan and that's what like i feel like a lot of ars coming up don't know how to do that because like it i don't know it's so hard to yeah. explain because like i don't i don't know what's happening in the am community like i don't know like, yeah any of the ams i can't just sit here and be like yeah this guy doesn't do this because i don't i don't really pay attention like i know like I obviously the streams that we could watch last year where the the phase academy team yeah. and like it sounded like they knew what was going on. It was and plus MW is not a good yeah, it's it's a, a good game like, <laughs> to stuff off. That that topic of MW being not the best always comes up in the episode, so don't even worry. I think we're all there with you. But um that what you said about being vocal is like one of those things you really cannot like that doesn't show in the stats. And yeah, like, like you can let's say for you example let's say you had some better stats but you were lacking in being vocal with your team your teams could be potentially doing worse than compared to now where like they're doing really well you're getting a lot of wins being very successful so that's just one of the things you really can't like put into like numbers because that's just not you just can't but uh it's very important to be a successful player and team and uh yeah so you heard it from the man himself you got to be vocal. You got to command the troops. Excuse the voice crack. Let's I mean, go. Yeah. Like, <laughs> if you tell them what to do, they're probably going to tell you what to do. And it yeah. just makes everything so much like easier. Like if you don't say shit to yourselves, they're not going to say shit back to you. It's something like, <clears throat> it, it's just like, I don't know. It's just a hundred percent effort there yeah. for everyone. And it's like something a lot of COD people lack is just putting effort into everything they do. Yeah. And I'd say that's like the second biggest thing for anybody, <laughs> not just mains. It's just putting effort and showing like, I don't know. I, yeah. Cod's uh, just stupid I, sometimes. I agree. Like, Call of Duty is a very, very easy game. And once mm -hmm. you already get to that level and you're skilled and you're a smart person, it's a very easy game to, like, 
keep being successful and winning when you have like the right minds around you, right people around you, because it literally just comes down to effort. Like there's a ceiling of how good you could shoot. Even if you're yeah. the best shot in Call of Duty history, you're going to lose all your, most of your fights if they have the better advantage, if they have I mean, the better the guy position. Cross review is probably going to shoot as straight as you too. Yeah. Like, unless your name's fucking, unless you're Dashy, <laughs> yeah. Selium, like, like everyone shoots as straight as you. Yeah, exactly. Like everyone shoots around pretty much the same. So if they have a better setup, they have better crossfires and teamwork, like you're going to lose the situation majority of the time. So it is fun to like talk about all the people that are cracked, that can beam and like do all this, but that's only going to get you so far. You need to have that teamwork, that communication aspect as well to really take it to the next level and then be a consistent player and team. So that is definitely very important. Uh, talking about some team stuff. I remember... In the good old days, Black Ops 4 days, your E United team, you had, you had a pretty good start to the season. You got second, and then you kind of had some stuff happen amongst the team where, like, some, like Cap and Clay, I guess, wanted each other dropped, or I don't know exactly how it came to be, but being, like, is in the situation, but not one of those two, like, how did that situation come to be, and how did it get, like, resolved, I, I guess? Dude. I don't know how it started. <laughs> I really don't. I just feel like every day we would like there was this argument on our team every mm -hmm. day, and this is where like this is where I started. I was like, dude, I gotta do something. Like, I'd be a fucking leader now, because I was just sitting. There, I was like, bro, like all I heard every day was control this, control. Like the only way to win control is if we push through. The only way we can uh, win control is like if we wrap back and yeah. we all hit a side together. And it was one day I just snapped. I was like, dude, you could do fucking both. Please shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> it was just one of those moments. Where I was like, dude, like, <laughs> it's gotta stop. Like, you guys gotta stop. And it's like, they're both like great players, great leaders. Yeah. Like, no, they both know what they're doing. But just at that moment, it's like, I think it, it wasn't even like, it wasn't even like they, they just wanted both to be right at that time. Mm. Like, and it's just like, I don't know if that's what started it, but it's like, that's what I remember. And that's like, it's just one of the funniest things because I was like, they're both wrong. Like you both, you could do whatever. Yeah. And it's just as like, long as you just do it together and do it to the best of like your team's yeah, ability. Everyone trusts each other doing it. Like, like it's control. probably going to work. Like, there's multiple ways to win. It's yeah. like, you got to use your brain. And like, I'm exactly. so glad controls back, but like, same dude, the cap and clay situation. All I know is like, it was, it was like, I chalk everything that happens like bad happens. But yeah, I remember like, all I remember is before Fort with, Clay block cap. <laughs> That's a good way to go into a tournament. Your teammates they, blocking they, each other. They block, they block each other and like cap DM'd us or texted us and he said, bro, Clay blocked me. And I was just like, this is chalked. Like, I, I can't believe what's going on. <laughs> my my vets are being ch children now. Yeah. Me telling Preston, like, what the fuck? <laughs> and it's like, That's... That, the whole situation was just like, yeah. I, I still don't know what happened. Like, I, like, obviously, like the behind the scenes things were like, Clay was, we're getting, we're trying to get rid of Clay. Burns wanted Clay. Preston got dropped for a day. <laughs> Clay and Cap were still on the team. Preston, Preston was like, dude, Burns, fuck you. He's like, dude, just listen to us once. Just fuck you. Burns texts us like three hours later. We dropped Preston. You're like, wait. Me and, me and Tyler look at each other. We're like, bro, what the fuck? I, I, I went to dinner. Like I went to breakfast with Burns. Cause like, they were trying to get me to re-sign with them. Like they wanted, like, like they didn't. They were like, "Yeah, we're gonna leak spot, blah blah blah, this like that." Yeah. They're like, "We're gonna give you like a big ass contract." I was like, "Bro, like I can't re-sign with you guys. I can't." Like the, what's going on right now is just just childish. Like yeah. And it's like, I do the cap and clay. <laughs> good times, right? Good times. Whole, we would go into each other because it was at the leak. We're at oh, the fucking yeah, leak in Columbus. So we're sitting yeah. like we're sitting there going to Cavs place. Clay like Clay and like Burns is telling Clay everything. And it's just like, I was just, they're like, yo, should we make like, do we want to get rid of Clay? I was like, bro, I did. I was like, dude, I don't know what the fuck to do. Like, yeah. I'm sitting here, I was like, dude. And it's, it came down to, it's not our choice, it's Burns. And obviously it paid out. Like, Clay's a great player. Cap's a great player. It's like, but if it comes down to someone blocking each other, they don't like each other. So we're not getting better. We just got top six. Yeah. And we're struggling at league. It's just like, we had to, we had to make a choice. Yeah. And Chris. Chris was a good pickup, but I honestly yeah, Sam's like, a pretty good player to team with and pick up. Like he's <laughs> he's he's, he's, he's pretty right. talented, I'd say. Like uh... he, like <laughs> he, he's very talented, but like I think he is one of the best teammates ever. Really? For someone like for someone that young, he knows a lot about Call of Duty, and he like he's one of those like 
people. Like he reminds me of, like an AR in a sub, like running a sub because he he knows what to do. He knows like what to say and like. I'm pretty sure they said like he was like he was trying to control like he was commanding the troops when he was on this team. Yeah, and like I think dude, he's one of the best players I've played with. Oh yeah, I mean I'm just... glad I'm glad to have him back because he knows like he knows like yeah how to talk to people like I it just won't be me like being stressed out. Like, no, he, that's... He, dude, being bringing him on the team, I was like, dude, like this is I don't know if this is a good idea because like he had like tweets where he's like like saying weird stuff and I was yeah. like, dude, like question, but it's like it, it, that's like that's not someone like in game. That's someone like out of game not on like not it has nothing to do with gaming so it's like I, he grew up i mean like he's a good kid yeah no i mean he's easily i mean he's insanely talented been one of the best if not the best player 200 iq at uh what's it called the last two games i feel like people definitely just see him for like some guy who's just nasty but yeah. then there's so much more actually behind him that goes yeah, into yeah, it. Like if he stream scrims, he people are like, "Oh my god, this kid's like, not, like he's actually yeah. smart as hell." There's more than just being super talented. Then mm-hmm. like, and it shows because I mean he's been super successful. Rise he got into the league. I mean, back to back event winners, world champions, and then even last year getting second at champs again. So I mean, he, that sky's the limit for Sim. Like guys, Chris is fucking disgusting, and uh, it's good to hear that he has like a good head on his shoulders too. And because uh, I mean, he's gonna be in the league for a long, long time, and uh, probably running it too. So that's that's good to hear that he's like that. Um, but you said you mentioned like the time where United tried to like resign you or say if they get a spot, they they want to give you a fat contract. How did that go? Ha- how did like that stuff happen after the Black Ops for you to you getting on to Huntsman? Um, so there is this. We obviously won champs, and we had this. Like get together after cha- after the yeah. event, and they're like, yeah, like we're we're gonna we're gonna get a league spot, and like I was like, dude, you got like, he's like, we're halfway there, like we're at the fifty or like the thirty yard line, we're almost like we're so close. <laughs> I was like, bro, like if you don't tell me we have a league spot by the time this is over, I'm announcing I'm a free agent. And Damn, like that, they I like they that. They, it's I can't like it's. We just won champs. Yeah. I just what well, I had a one point three. Obviously, three of us had one point three. Yeah, yes, like, yeah. I'm not gonna sit here and like waste my opportunity of getting on t- like really really good team, then sit here and like fuck around. And then you got like, like I, yeah. I like everything done within like a week mm-hmm. of it being announced. Oh yeah, and it wasn't done. So I said like I told like everyone in the group. I told everyone in the group chat. I was like, I I'm I'm going to I'm going to get the bag. <laughs> I'm going to get the bag. That's yeah. literally what I said. I said, and Clay's like, yeah, I understand. Like, I that's un- understandable. Like, that's cool. Yeah. And the United obviously didn't get a spot, and that's how it turned out. No, nah, I mean at that we'll time, ignore all the Seattle thing in between. <laughs> yeah, at that time, like you guys just went back to back. You won champs, so you guys are all the most like sought out players. Everyone wants you to be on their team. All the players want to team with you. All the orgs want you on the team as well. You can't just sit around and bullshit. Like, you need to get what you want exactly what you want whether it's payment teammates whatever it may be the right organization like you got to go out and do that because who knows when you're ever going to have that opportunity to be like that guy that one or two or three players that everyone wants so you got to like take the opportunity and just run with it and i'm glad you did you had a pretty pretty successful year how many events did you guys win last year with the huntsman two Two events really Um, yeah that's it i thought it was at least like three no you snagged the third one oh shit Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! Um, <clears throat> so moving on uh, with the Huntsman, though, let's talk about that team a little bit. What do you think were like your weaknesses or strengths with that team throughout the season? Like, what could have you strengths. done better to get that strengths. third, fourth event win, so on? I think the strengths were that we did. We were really good. Like, we're good. Like, we were like really, really good friends. Like, we just had fun. Oh, at all the not time. the f word. But you said friends. friends. You said What's friends. Oh, dude. When you mentioned friends and COD, like... Oh, it, oh, oh, my bad. Friend, friend. Mm. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be like, dude, these guys league. are a friendship league. Like, dude, I on. actually hate that, bro. I hate, <laughs> I hate... Every time I hear a friendship league from everyone, like, doing these podcasts, I was just like, yeah. bro, like... We just had four, five, six new people come to the league when before before this year, we've had that amount in three years. Yeah, right? exactly. Like, like it barely started ever. Up, like, the only way, the only reason, like, it was a lot more than last year. It was because our United team, we made it, it's like getting like growing, like coming up together. Yeah. Literally, last year was just one, two, three, four, five, six kids just 
out of nowhere just coming up and yeah then that's kind of like unheard of pretty much like very few teams do that <laughs> nah yeah i hate i hate the term like the the what friendship the i got i got friendship league term to the friendship league, all right so. what was the question again oh yeah i was just talking <laughs> Bro, about I, your... I lost <laughs> dude yeah nah it's uh talking about your strengths and weaknesses as uh as a team last season like what could you I have mean, guys gotta, done better you gotta go with both like the strength and weakness was just the friends like yeah we're just so like i like i didn't help it i i was super trolly and like ah uh, i and just like those days like those days where like we had to be super serious is like like it just be like yo like you're going so hard like it, it i don't know like yeah. there's always like these there's those things like i over like i over like dank stuff and i'm sitting here like just i it's something i've always tried to work on is just bitching too much yeah but i don't like i don't know it's so hard to say because, like, again, MW, it's not a good guy. <laughs> if it's any other game, I think us five, Pierce or Preston, would have been, like, in pretty much every finals. But it's just MW is, like, any. It's, yeah. It was the most day-to-day, -day, like, oh, all these day-to-day. -day, but that was the most day-to-day -day yeah. thing. Yeah. I was, what, shoot, one day I'd. I beat Faze next time. I, dude, it, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, wait, literally, day -day. It, it is day-to-day because -day uh, that event that we beat you in the finals, you guys beat us game five on the Friday, I believe, or Saturday, yeah, the, the, and then, then we 3 would you the next before, day. <laughs> in the event of before, you guys smoked us game five. Yeah. You guys, your org tweeted that out, and I was like, bro, I got to beat him again. I said, I said, these guys just pissed me off. <laughs> Come out, just beat you guys. I was like, yep. Now you know how it feels. Yeah. It's just like, it's like, I don't think there was anyone like I was like Dallas obviously like showed that they were way better, but like it's just like that game was like I just, we started watching vods and, like we'd learn stuff and yeah. it's like some random shit started happening. Like you would learn like how this goes down, like what how this spawn works, and like yeah. next thing you play, you have to switch it all up because you're like <laughs> okay this didn't work. Like yeah. you, we just learned this this for nothing, and now like it's just like that game was so chaotic like. That yeah, modern warfare. What a time! What a time! I'm glad we all got to play it, compete in it. I think we all loved it. All the viewers loved watching it as well. Great year. Um, but when it came down to like the actual game, it just sucked because you couldn't like master that game. Like you can get it down to a yeah, point, no, but there was no still master. some randomness that would happen in like respawns with the spawns and like the way that you this guy was you would spawn parallel to each other. Someone's right here. Someone else is right here spawn next to each other it was the weirdest thing like in every other love, game I'd, you could master it i'd love to hear a competitive person talk to just a casual gamer about quadrant spawns oh dude i feel like probably i heard the word quadrant spawns and i absolutely <laughs> lost my shit at the start of the year yeah i said what the fuck did you just say to me a quadrant like, dude what are we in what geometry fuck, like what, what does that mean <laughs> like, yeah it's crazy i feel like probably 80 percent of the people maybe even more don't even know the quadrant spawns and like we were terrible at the beginning of the year until we learned the quadrant spawns we actually learned them right as we picked up mac so it was like the mm -hmm. perfect thing like we got mac super talented young player here, bro the and then here. and then the boy the boy hollow blessed us with the quadrant spawn knowledge and then we started doing really well and then we're like all right bet we'll uh we'll take that but yeah quadrant spawns and all that hopefully they never return to call of duty Please go back to the old spawn system where if you block a spawn, they're spawning out. Like it's it's incredible. Oh, that's a weird feeling to say. Yeah, they're spawning out. Like that's gonna be something bro. crazy. Like, yo, I'm blocking the spawn, they're spawning out. Like Bro, I, I thought after that game, after <laughs> MW, I wanted like it would take me weeks to understand like yeah. how spawns work. It it doesn't. It does you just I chalked everything out of MW how spawns work. Yeah. Domination, I chalked before oh, the game dude. even stopped. I was just like, dude, like this dude. <laughs> I don't know how Dom still works to this day. Like, yeah. I, it's just so random. And, like, we had so many problems with it. Pet, St. Petra, you could see through fucking the bricks in the middle map. You get no aim <laughs> yeah. assist. Yeah, no, like, no aim assist. Nothing. You're getting absolutely turned on in the middle of B-Dom. Like, S and D, everyone oh. had that silence except one person on each team pretty much. And I'm just sitting there with the trophy throwing that bitch two inches in front of me. <laughs> I'm just like, dude, this isn't fun. Yeah. This S and D, like, I... I I thought I was pretty good at like S and D, like clutching, but like World War Two. I'm pretty sure I was. I I, was, I love World War Two S and D because it's same. It was, it was so simple, good. It was easy. It so was fun. good. Like, then we started getting to these into Bo Bo Four wasn't that bad either, 
Yeah, it was just annoying because of the it's stem just, thing. So if you're like a 1v3, they just shimmy stem. At all. Yeah, not like if they play all. it to the best of their ability, there's no way you win it unless they like throw and over peak. Plus, but, I and ICR, I'll just be like, Yo, oh, yeah. Just bait, me. just bait me right here. I'm, <laughs> I'm chilling. You're just it's doing like, damage. I just remember going on pay, like, payload s and &E, I see Chris with a sniper pistol. I'm like, his pistol's better than my ICR. Yep. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be like, yo, Chris, follow me up. It just it would work every time. Like, yo, he he just traded me with a pistol across the map. Let's go. Yeah. And it's like like S and D just needs to go back. Like, I'm so glad for for that next game. If Dude. we have Death Silence, that'd be fucking fantastic. But four v four boots. I can't stand watching people crouch around a map and just take their goddamn time. And yeah. that's like, you know, like they what they want to do, but it's like they can't. They do just it can't, or they're gonna. People are hundred percent lose. Sitting yeah. Fifty fifty, just sitting on a bomb site, and it's like yeah. Doors too. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, doors. You know, I'm actually going to miss God. ramming through those doors, just busting down. I just oh, man. I remember our club peak just going through that fucking mid broken and just looking mid map, creaking the door open. <laughs> Yeah, just creaking the door open. The worst is when you would creak it open and they have like an off angle, like looking at the yep. door, and then you just get smoked as you're slowly creaking it you, open. You get smoked or nailed. Yep. It's like, oh, there we go. Okay, now uh, or, we we can move on from talking about our everyone's favorite Call of Duty Modern Warfare because I think we're yeah. uh, we're gonna miss it a little too much. So let's just uh, try and put it behind call, us already and stop thinking about it. Um, but now that the season ended, like you guys had a pretty successful year. Of course, not to your the players on your team and your team standards at all. But uh, two wins and then, uh, what, like fourth, third, third, fourth at champs? Third? Third. Third, okay. Third at champs. And um, the year ended. How did that kind of go from getting off the Huntsman, getting on to phase? Like, was it easy transition? Uh, like, how'd um, that all work? I mean, uh, I, I think I think at first I sat, like, I was sitting there, I was like, bro, like, if I don't do what I want in my career, this could either, yeah. like, obviously everyone on the Huntsman love those guys. They're all really great players but it's like it's my career i want to like yeah. i was sitting there like not it wasn't like right after it was like a week after i was just like i just like if i don't do this like if i i guarantee like i can almost guarantee a good a good team yeah. like i can like no matter what but like i was just sitting there like thinking every night i was like bro like hey, do i want to do i really want to have a chance like because five five you could get away with it like i got yeah. away with it clay got away with it it's like but 44, I don't like there's a slim chance that you could go away with it. Like you'll run an AR in some of these maps, but for subs, like I can't like it's just it was just too much. And I was like, bro, like I, I told like the first person I told was like Troy and and he's like, just do what you want. No one's like if they're mad, like no one's going to get mad at you if you want to be in main AR. And I was like, dude, I'm like, Damn. and it just it just happened. Next like, thing you know, I, I Hector text me like, dude, just no one like I'm not going to be mad at you. You're my guy. Like. And it's literally what happened. Two days later, I'm like, I'm I texted damn someone on. I, I texted Tyler. I was like, bro, like what? What? I know this is a out of the field, like out of the park kind of quite. Like, I, there's a slim chance that you'll say yes. And yeah. it just happened. I was just like, whoa, like it's still crazy to me. Like, I'm <laughs> with these guys, bro. I was like, it was like the slimmest chance. Like, I was like, no way they make a change. Yeah. And. Uh, and I was like, they felt like they they needed a leader too. And I was like, dude, I could like, you guys worked with me. I, you guys know my work ethic. You know how I want to do things. You know how prepared I want to be. And those guys are also, I'm pretty, Crowder makes them watch VODs all the time. Oh, they yeah. want to watch VODs. Me, our U9 team watch VODs every day before playoffs and champs with Bryce. And they know, like, we all know how he works. So it's great. And MC is yeah. just a a demon like yeah he's super talented glizzy gobbler Get the the one and only glizzy gobbler himself he's probably lurking in here he was lurking in the last he stream he randomly definitely popped out for that one but dude yeah just having those people around you that you know what they are like outside of game when it comes to like the work ethic like watching vods maybe playing those extra series of tens is so important because like it's it's hard to make progress as a team if there, you have to bring if there's random issues like whatever it may be yeah. that there's just issues and to have people that are just you can Ooh. talk to easily get the issues like talked about in a couple minutes rather than it dragging on and leading to other problems during the scrims it's one of the most important things cuz like That's you're only going to be have. you're only going to be as good as like your team like your team is it's it's a team game you can't yeah. like no matter how good of a player you are you can't consistently carry your team to the win every time that's just never going to happen especially right. if you're playing a team that all is very talented and they know what to do too like you just have to have people that you can work with and uh, just grow as a player and team with. That's just the most important thing, without a doubt. 
But uh, no, yeah, shout out to you guys, uh, all your whole squad, Atlanta, super nasty team. I appreciate you guys uh, getting me Major Maniac and Priesta. I cannot wait to play with them. Oh my God, I am hyped. So thank you very, very much for that. I appreciate you. Um, (laughs) But yeah. Watch you guys. Yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of, there's a lot of comments. I was like, bro, there's no way. Like, I was like, these guys are nasty no matter what. Like, nah, bro. Lamar, too many Lamar two flex to, players. We're too many Arsenal flex to, players. That's how it, bro. To do the, how to handle the troops? <laughs> yeah. Now nah, we'll be going out partying for uh, all the events. Definitely not uh, watching VODs every morning. Um, but enough joking around with that. What uh, do you plan on bringing to Phase? Because, like you said, you're probably going to be the most vocal person on the team alongside uh, Chris Simp. But what do you plan on bringing, like, with the leadership aspect? I mean, leadership. I want to be the worst one on that team. I want okay. them to be comfortable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want, I want that's them good. To be com- it's something like we went through on E United. Tyler was, he wasn't like, he just hated, uh, just when I when I got mad at him, he hated it so much. But like yeah. towards the end of the year, it was like he'd like understand. He'd be like, he's the only person I've ever texted after we got an argument and be like, bro, I'm so sorry. Like, I know, like I know, it's like because we're friends before yeah. he joined United. Obviously, he was gonna go to you guys. You got. Bought out by us first, and no, dude, Faze didn't even want to buy him. It was kind of crazy, but now he's on Faze now. So, <laughs> yeah, that's true. But um, just it's something like, just I don't like. I want them to be all comfortable as hell. Like, I like with United, me, me, Preston, and Tyler had his talk where like they'd get mad at me because I didn't. I like I'll tell them no in S and D. Like I'd be like, they'd be like, yo, let's hit this. I'm like, no, stop, <laughs> stop fucking hitting shit. And I was just like. They they talked to me after like one day like dude we hate when you say that shit I was like okay I was like okay yeah. that's like you talk to me and you tell me what you guys are feeling instead of like just holding it in because like that's something Tyler would always do when he first joined United and like I'm super glad like that's something like I want and I want them to like be like respect respect me enough to like tell me tell me what I'm doing wrong and what they're doing like me telling them what they're doing wrong and if they yeah. hate it or if like they want to do this in S and D. They feel comfortable enough to tell me, like, and I, I, and I feel like we already have that. But it's like, it's something every team like needs, like, could do better, no matter what. Yeah. No, that just comes down to like respecting each other and then having trust, like being able for to trust your teammate and making a strat or saying he's not comfortable and doing this instead to make your team better. So just having everyone be able to respect each other enough to talk to each other, put an input when it comes down to the practice and just improve. Like that's, that's all you I can ask want, for in a team. Yeah. I want them to feel comfortable enough yeah. to make a play goal and hard point S and D control and them not being scared to <laughs> yeah. say, I'm doing that. Like if Tyler wants to hit event for the 18th round in a row on, on what gun runner, I'll let him do it. As long <laughs> exactly. as someone goes with him. It's just like, if you have someone there or like, that's what literally what I did. I just followed them around the map. Yeah. I'm like, yep, you're doing this. I'm doing it with you. I don't care. Like, yeah. It's like, like I'm holding I'm holding your your hand. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're, I'm holding your hand. I'm babysitting you around the map and then yeah. we'll get the trades together. You get the two piece, then I'll be there for to help you with the third. Like that's just how you have to do it, especially in those 5v5 games. Like if you're hitting something to, by yourself, you pro, you're going to you get one. It's going to be very difficult to get two unless you catch them super off guard or they're just ass. So if you have a teammate there with you roaming around the map, like you can finesse heavy, make plays, take two, three, four of them down and then get control of that area. Super important just to be able to work together because like it's just better to not have that solo strat. Just add someone else into the strat with you and then the possibilities are endless with when you have two people there. Like you can just make anything work. I mean, to answer the question, is just pretty much just the respect thing. Like, yeah. I, I just, like, obviously the leadership there, just, I think this team has the talent, obviously. <laughs> yeah. So the three yes. of the most talented people you, in the world. It's wait, just, like, it comes nah, down yeah, to You're pretty talented to yourself. You need to get some, give yourself some gas. That's four. Four of the most right. talented cop players. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Four, four of the most talented. But it's just, like, with uh like comes down to it if in those clutch situations just yeah. come, it comes down to respect and trust like if if you want to do something five if, if fucking chris wants to snipe five five i'm not gonna be like no nah, that's kind of risky i don't like it's just like the, the thing i hate the most in snd is like can i do this like and that's like it's just something like like people are gonna say it's like well just like you just gotta be like yeah fuck yeah dude that sounds fucking right and either you don't want him to feel like after if you guys lose the round where it's like 
damn, I just cost this because I did this. Like, <laughs> why no, why did you good. tell us to do that? Good. <laughs> why? Yeah. yeah. I've never I, – it's something I did, like, obviously on E&I. Like, like I said, it's, it's like I don't care. And, like, if you if you want to do it, I'm going to say you could do it. Like, yeah. And I, it's just how I, that's how I want this team to be. No, definitely. I think you guys have a really, really solid squad on your hands. Another CDL video. Maven said you're going to shit or, like, destroy everyone the whole year. So you guys – you got some high expectations out of everyone for this team, as you should, just because all the players that are on it. World champions, second place of world championships, third world championships. So like you have you have some high expectations. And it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a crazy year when we can like hey, finally play that game and start competing. Clay. We're here to stop Clay going for back to back to back. <laughs> Dude, if Clay goes back to back to back, like guy just undisputed goat. It yeah, would you gotta, you gotta give it to him. Yeah, you just, at that point you just gotta going give it to him. From three teams to three in a row. Like that you yeah. just gotta give it to him. Yeah. He knows how to win. That is that is insane. I got one more question from me for you, and then we'll get into some Twitter questions, uh, some chat questions as well to end it. But from starting to where you and your brother were just trying to be able to talk to each other on Xbox, to finally going pro, to winning the world championship, to being on a couple of insanely talented rosters, uh, when it's all said and done, you're retiring, what do you want your legacy to be? in the COD world, the COD community as a player? Uh, like, what? How do you want people to look at, view you as a player when it's all said and done? Uh, a winner. I mean, it's winner, all, it's, I mean court, that's yeah. obviously like the easiest answer, but it's like, I don't care to be the, like, in, like to be the best individually. I want to be known to be like, damn, this guy knows how to win. Yeah. And he's going to keep winning, even though he's, he might not put like, I put up some good stats, but it's like, there's like those times where he doesn't put up good stats where he could still win because he yeah. knows what he's doing. Like I want that. I want I want to be on a team for a long time. Yeah. And I want to be like, like obviously like a dynasty. Like I, I don't like that word, but like a dynasty. Yeah, it's everyone's wanna, goal. Like, everyone's goal. It's everyone's goal, obviously. But it's like I think I think I have a good chance if yeah. like I keep working on myself out of game in game. No more. Like I just I I I try to perfect everything. But I like I'm just one of those guys where like I know I can't, so I try to the to, to the best yeah. of my ability. That's all you could do. You just try yeah. to the best. As long as you try to do the best of your ability, like that's all you could do. Because no one no one nothing is gonna be perfect, but as long as you're putting the effort in, like it's gonna give you yeah, the best shot called, to get to that point. It's something I learned like like you could try to perfect something, but it's Call yeah. of Duty. There's it's, something yeah. something's gonna happen. Like you can't get four or five people on the same page sometimes, and that's fine. Yeah. And it's like it's something it's it's uh, it's Call of Duty. It's yeah. literally just Call of Duty. It's Call of Duty. Like that's <laughs> just that's just how it is. <laughs> All right. So what's it called? Let's see. I got some questions from Twitter. A couple questions from Twitter, and then we'll get into the chat, and then I'll let you go finish moving or packing or whatever you got to go do. Let's see this. Crux AJ, what is Alex's favorite teammate besides Pristini? Bro, that's. I hate that question. You got to answer just, it. Uh, dude, there's just so many, like, different, like, outside of gaming, like, outside yeah. of COD. Outside All right, let's of, do like, one in, outside in, of COD. Let's do one in in COD. As a person and then COD, as a, like, player, I guess. It, yeah. It, it, Matt or Tyler. Matt or Tyler? Yeah. Is that outside or inside? I forgot. Outside. Outside? Okay. Outside is Matt or Tyler. For so sure. you still are, what the chat is saying, hashtag horny for for me? Yes. Okay. That's good. I'm sure I'm really, the I, I still like him. He's, he's, he's <laughs> I'm sure he's the uh, Huntsman supporters will be appreciative of you still being horny for for me. Um, and then we got one more from Soldier. If you not got a league spot and the team stay together, do you think the entire team goes back to back, or how does it yes. work with the five yes, people yes, in MW? Yes, yes. I mean, look at the top three teams. They all yeah. have, they all have E United members on them. Yeah, that was actually insane. Oh, wait. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They, the all Dallas cadets, Hayes, all Chicago. United. Yeah, dude, it's just, it's something like United. I mean, you can't really say they fumbled the bag because it's like, it's very twenty five million to get. Oh yeah, it's not. It's not cheap to get into like, the COD league. Like it's insanely I, expensive. Dude, by far, I think I think we would have we. I don't think we would have smoked the league, but I think with all the momentum from yeah. back to back, we're coming. We're feeling like really good. League. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna. We're getting. I mean, we're all probably most likely getting raises. Yeah. Which, then it's probably a, a nice decent raise after going back to back and winning a ring. Yeah, I just look, I look at the top three teams and like you just by far. I think yeah. I just imagine how the league would have been if we <laughs> didn't if we didn't split it. It's just been weird. Yeah, it would have been really interesting to like see how like the other teams would have formed. What teams, teams would yeah. It would have been crazy. But 
who knows? It's uh, it's it didn't it didn't happen. But now yeah. you're back with uh, two other yeah. members of that team. So the we'll see what happens. The tiny terrors. All right, that was the last question from Twitter stream. I'm going to take a couple questions from the chat. So ask Alec Arcides. Usually you got to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars for this guy to make an appearance and ask him questions like this. So right now is your time to ask a good question. Type in the chat if you have one, and uh, I'll pick some of the best out, and we'll see. Huh. Oh, how do you feel about Pristini's new team in Seattle? They're really, I mean, it's a good team. It's it's a really good team. I think Pierce and Sam, Pierce and Sam are some of the good best players in the last couple of years. Yeah, Preston is. I think Preston was one of the better player or not better best one. He played really really good for the role. For what he, he had to do, that, yeah, for, yeah, for on that Huntsman. Like he like he was the only thing. The only thing people could take away from him on the Huntsman was that one series versus the phase. Yeah. At, at, during was it pl- playoffs or whatever that thing was called? <laughs> yeah, like whatever, I don't. Yeah. Even really, I think Preston and Dan obviously. Yeah, the two really Cod underrated besides, players. Yeah, yeah, really underrated. And, I mean, I think I think with Pierce and Sam, Pierce's will help both them, or Dan will help Preston. Pierce could help Preston. Anybody like they could help Sam. Like it, it's it's just a really good team on paper. From everyone in the pro scene, yeah. I, I I don't know what everyone else thinks. It's just like I'm just there. I look at them like yeah, okay. it just makes like, sense. I feel like like their roster. Yeah, like if, if any if you it ask anybody well the pro scene, it's like game. They, it, it's, it looks really really good for just people that understand how they are. Yeah. Okay. Favorite weapon in Call of Duty history? Any gun? Dude. Any gun? Whether it's AR, SMG. I'm assuming it's going to be an AR. I, it's got it's got to be like a competitive gun for me, and I started I, I started in Bo3 like Ghost is chalk. I think I think I'd have to go with the NV4. That gun was okay. like super fun. It was like I think I think guns in IW were like super fun to use. They were like enjoyable, like the the just the hit marker sounds and just that game was fun. Yeah. Wait, I completely forgot to talk about it. Uh, how we almost teamed in Infinite Warfare. Good thing I remember because someone's like, I don't know how I got it, but when we almost teamed, that was a crazy situation. And I feel like it yeah. I probably would have worked out better for both, for both our rosters. Yeah, yeah literally. Because yeah. you could have been the main AR in Infinite Warfare because the team would have been me, you, Preston, Justin, and then the the phase team would have been Pierce, Clay, Enable, Zuma. And so... Clay could have been the main AR there. You could have been the main AR there. You wouldn't have too many ARs for the next like two, three seasons. Like it eventually paid off, but that's always just crazy to think about how that all went down. Like that was some crazy times in that Texas house, just figuring out that <laughs> roster <laughs> and how that was. Here, hearing Clay, he's like, yeah, I'm still here. I'm like, really? Like, what, what <laughs> you, is, it, is it weird? Is it awkward? Like, dude, he's like, no, I just, I just don't leave my room. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, that was a really like, weird yeah. situation because I was like, on a United for a little bit. Then I woke up, I was back on phase. But looking back on it, I'm just like, damn. I what, mean, got a team yeah, with yeah, Alec? Just, like, hold yeah, up, bro. Fuck. Yeah, I should have uh, I should have like, should have United. You guys, you, you would have had fucking, you would have had fun. We were oh. fucking, we were psychopaths back then. I we're know. like, we got, we got to smoke the shit out of Pierce right now. I don't care. <laughs> I mean, Duh, we, never, that, we never had a chance to play you guys either. That was a weird nah. thing. Yeah, because I we think try, we kept trying with just like one of us. It, it, it was like the Huntsman versus Phase situation. Like, yeah, one, we would try and just one of us would just absolutely suck. Yeah, at I one think event. It's like <clears throat> you guys got like third at playoffs. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, you got third yeah. at playoffs. We got like six or something. I don't, I don't and like then talk champs. About oh, that yeah, that memory. Three, I think we you got three, six three too. Three optic, three out optic, then got two three the next day by optic. Ah, hate to see that. But yeah, so that was a really weird, crazy situation. What could have been? What could have been? Could would yeah, uh we probably if we teamed though we would have won playoffs and then won champs, without yeah. a doubt. Like we're 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 taking that uplink lead. We're not losing it. <laughs> exactly. Um, but no, that was that was crazy times. Crazy times. Okay, let's see. Oh wait, one more from the chat. One more. If Call of Duty stayed five v five. Do you think yes. you would have stayed on the Huntsman? 
Yes. Yes. Okay. I've answered that, that easy? plenty of times. Yeah. I said, mm-hmm. damn. I think I, that team would. I think that team would have stayed the same no matter what. Okay. Five five. Four v four, switching everything up. All right, but I think that's gonna be it. Thank you, Alec, for joining us. I had a really good time. A lot of really <laughs> good talks with you. Uh, I learned a lot about you too that I didn't know. So. Thank you very much for being on the show. I really appreciate it. Everyone in the chat, make sure you yell and say thank you to the one and only Alec Arsides. Uh, we have an hour, an hour, eight minutes. I, that went by pretty fast. I told you, fast. they go by fast. Dude, it I'm, does. It's okay. just like, it's over. If you prepare me, I'm a good talker, man. Like, I know what's going on. Okay. Now, you're a really good talker. I learned a lot about you. And uh, I'll call you tonight on FaceTime. Me, you, Selly, and we'll get on our nightly FaceTime trio calls. And uh, we'll have some fun tonight, okay? I'm waiting. <laughs> all right. It's been Real Low Stream. Thank you guys all for watching. Shout out to everyone that's listening on Spotify, YouTube, wherever it may be. Appreciate all you guys. Make sure you go show some love to Alec. Alec, you want to shout out any like uh, sponsors, teammates, whatever it may be? No, nah, I'm good for now. He's good. Shout out to okay. Alec and only Alec, okay? Uh, thank you guys all for watching, though. I'll see you guys in the next stream and video. Have a good one. Shout out to Alec. Go follow the man, the myth, the legend on Twitter. And uh, we'll see you guys all later. Have a good one. I'm going to find someone to host real quick. Hold up. Let me take this window capture off, though.